spring. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome back and say hello to Aria Thomas, one of five winners of Roll Dolls. Correct me if I'm saying this wrong. Imagine Normous Challenge of 2018. And you are Heather. Yes. Very nice to meet you as well. This is a great story. What, how did this come about that you won a contest and wound up in Hollywood? Um, my dad actually showed it to me on Facebook. He found an ad for it, and I enter any writing contest I can. So, Any writing contest you can, because okay, you love but to write. You're saying you entered a contest like it's at you know, the local Steak and Shake or something. <laughs> how many people were in this contest? Just kind of an idea. I think like 10,000 no, or so. No, no, no. There were over 50,000 people that had Over 50,000. And yes. you're one of five, one of five. out of 50,000. Did you get that? Five out of 50. That is <laughs> unbelievable. Now, you go to school at Pleasant View, mm -hmm. right? Both my daughters went to school at Pleasant View. What grade right. are you in? Seventh. Seventh grade at Pleasant View. One out of 50,000 kids. Heather, what did you think when you, how did you get the news that she had won? Well, her dad had sent me a, a message, a, an email, and, and I read this email that said, congratulations, you're, you're a golden ticket winner. And I read it and I thought, okay, so what spam yeah, did you're we thinking get this involved is a spam, in? Or, right? yeah. You know, who sent us some kind of prank? Right. And so I followed the links that were attached to it, and no, she actually won a national contest. Yeah. So it was a, it was a lot of disbelief. And, you know, the golden ticket thing, and Roald, he, he wrote Willy Wonka. He, he wrote uh, 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 Matilda. He mm -hmm. wrote, I mean, some of the greatest children's novels are out there by yeah. him. My yes. kids loved reading And them. that's the kind of thing you're competing with. That person's name is on it. Yes. That's incredible. So you ended up in Hollywood at one of the big production studios, Warner mm. Brothers? Yeah. Yes. What in the heck? Warner yes. Brothers. Yeah. So you ended up at Warner Brothers. What, what do they want you to do now that you're in Hollywood? Um, just keep writing, honestly. Really? Mm -hmm. well, well, talk about what you submitted. You submitted a story, and it wasn't a terribly long piece. Yeah, it was 100 words or less. Okay. 100 magic words gets her to Hollywood. What was that about? Yep. Um, it was about um, Dr. Frankenstein, I think. Or mm -hmm. I thought it was Dr. Fluffenstein. Yeah, Fluffenstein, um, <laughs> who secretly worked on Frankenbears, which I've created right here. This is a one of a kind. Mm -hmm. She actually, when we went to Consumer Products, they had an animator there uh -huh. that, you know, they said, if you could make your own Frankenbear, what would it look like? And so they had all kinds of teddy bears out there, all the, the promotional items that they make through Warner Brothers. Uh -huh. wow. They had her pick out all the materials, and this is what she made. That's what so she made. So you'll never find that no. Anywhere else. Oh so this is gosh. sort of based on toys that are, you take pieces, bits and pieces from toys mm -hmm. and you put them back together in one new toy or something? Yeah. I kind of think of it kind of like, um, like the Island of Misfit Toys. Yes. Only they take all the well, parts and they combine them. It's a Frankenbear. You build it out of all these parts that you I can get a hold that of. Idea. That's great. So you came up with that. You wind up in Hollywood mm -hmm. with these product designers, animators, who help you come up with this. Are there any more of these in the world? Are we going to see these on shelves mm -hmm. soon? They said that this was just for her. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you, know, you yeah. never know. You never they, know. They could possibly come back because they seemed like they were fairly impressed by her ingenuity mm -hmm. and her you know, her um, her creativeness and all sure. that. So you never know. Oh, my goodness. So where do you go from here now? What are you going to do? Um, I have actually just recently entered another contest. It was for the middle schools. So I'm hoping to hear back from that soon. All right. Well, producer Shelby, go ahead and pencil her in because she'll probably end up being back on the yeah. show. What's yeah. in the box? Was that this, in the box? This is, yeah, this is just the box that that came okay, in. Okay, that's the box that it came yeah. in. I had to ask you that because I thought, I, and that's so nice of them to this come up with This is the drawing that the, the animator drew. It's just a little drawing of it, yeah. but... You know. And I understand the school benefited from this. Your school did. Mm -hmm. what, what happened there? Um, we got several books. Um, they, they sent a package, I think it was like a $500 package full oh. of all kinds of educational products, educational um, resources, things like that. She got all kinds of Roald Dahl books that went to the library. Very so, good. Well, Aria, yeah. thank you so much. And Heather as well. We're so oh, yeah. proud of Congratulations. you. Congratulations. I'm thank sure you. we'll have Here her back go. on the show again. Big things for you. All right. <laughs>